the very first song you dropped, Closer. Mm -hmm. This is like some years ago. Um, yeah. That transitioned into your song with Mikey Two Reason. Very interesting story. We don't have time to get into <laughs> that. <laughs> of how you got Mikey Two on your song. Yeah. That dropped. And since then, 2018, until now, the, the only other time you've been, you've shown your face or even your vocals out in public was when you jumped on, which I consider one of the best projects uh, to come out in the past five years, KB's Love and Heartbreak. And you're telling me how you had a huge input in that project. Yes. What exactly was it? Mm, so I, uh, when KB called me to do, to, to do some jumps, Initially, it was just, he just said, let us work on something. Yeah. Yeah, so, even him, he didn't think that it would be uh, a project, per se. But he just wanted some songs to be done. Then, from, along the way, we started working on it. So, I ended up writing 90% of the project. What was the process like? And also, I'm trying to understand how it is that an artist or a producer as big as KB would trust a whole project of his. It, like to you, and at this point, <laughs> at this point, you would agree with me that you hadn't done much actually. Yeah. You hadn't done much, and all he got from you is just he stumbled upon your music and heard your vocals, and then he gives you about ninety percent of his his project to sort of write. What was that like for you? Yeah, okay. It's not. I don't want to boast for maybe like yeah, quit komuna, but the thing is that when when someone is good, they are good. You don't even need to look left, right. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Just with a few things that they are going to do, and you obviously see that there's content in that person. So, but it wasn't like just there and then he says this and that and this and that. He was being convinced with each and every song that we're going step by step. We do those songs. He's like, ah, how about this? How about that? How about this? How about that? And he's just so that it was flowing, you know? Yeah. For someone, to which is one thing I guess even uh, my director has, has noted about you is that for someone to have done that much work on a very successful project like this, they would demand a whole lot. <laughs> Credits, they would demand money, they would demand respect, you know what I mean? Like royalties and all that because I stumbled upon that, that, that song on a streaming platform and I, I told you that when I heard Ordinary Lover, the platform I was using did not have featuring Frank Rowe on it. It must, must be like an error on their part or whatever. But I yeah. didn't know you. I didn't know that that was you. But like that was even the biggest song on, on the project itself. Mm -hmm. What keeps you so not, not really interested in pursuing like all this credit and wanting all this cash, especially from an, a, a project as big as that? Yeah. Like what's, what's gri gri grounding you in that, in that aspect? It's just I wouldn't want to... Okay, stuff happened. First of all, we had to talk about it. Like, you know, he mentioned, help me, so that I help you, you know? Yeah, so initially he said, like, the way we have done this project, if you want me to mix any of your songs, if you want me to do, if you are doing the next project, I can produce it and I can do that. So I felt like it was, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, I didn't know that there was money involved, because that's when, like, Bumple was, like, being, you know? Yeah. That's when Bumple was like getting there. Especially so I didn't, in Zambia. I, yeah, I didn't even know if if there was going to be money and stuff like that. And you know, even even just the whole process of like getting your work registered to you like uh, to they can get your to like they can collect your royalties in terms of like writing and stuff like mm. that. I didn't know that. I just only knew. I I signed with BMI just like recently. BMI is like. A copyright company where mm -hmm. they like uh, collect royalties for for artists on their songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, and it happened, and I just need to take advantage of like the 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 opportunity that I have now, or the recognition that I got from his project. Of his, yeah. Yeah. Because at least if I even if I didn't get money out of it, though, I still got like some recognition, and I believe like recognition could make you more money than something that will just give you then. Because mm. that's value, yeah. right? 